Kent, and you, you have 10 turnovers in that quarter. And they shoot 10 of 15 for 67%. Duncan, five on the clock in trouble. The jump hook, got it to go to start the fourth quarter. I don't want to play too many quarters like that. Tony Parker coming back in a moment. Nazi Muhammad goes right at Tim Duncan. They know Tim still got to be very careful with four fouls. And Muhammad with five points tonight. Here is Manu Ginobili, George Hill, McDice, Duncan, and Bogans with Parker waiting to come in. Ten on the shot clock. Tim, the sweeping hook, rims it, got his own. Comes up from the other side. Uh, great job by Timmy to stay in that play, come down with the offensive board, readjust underneath and get an easy one. Duncan averaging, coming in at 19 points a game, the Spurs leading score and 8th in the league in rebounding at nearly 11 a game. He's at about 15 and 6 tonight. 10 on the shot clock. Uh, Keith Bogan does a terrific job keeping that ball away from Gerald Wallace in the low block. Wallace here over Bogans. No. Rebound chased down. Oh, McDice saves it to Hill. Just great effort on the part of both players. But that's the shot I've been talking about that you want to make Joe Wallace shoot. Make him shoot an in-between game shot, not going all the way to the basket or a wide open three. Tim rims it. McDice rips it off the iron. Back out, and Hill will reset. Ginobili and Jackson, two of the greatest competitors in the NBA, head to head. Manu. Bogans spotted Duncan and Nazi did about all he could. Yes, he foul. Did. Tim had him sealed inside. That was a smart foul there by Nazi. Wraps up Timmy before the pass even gets there. Ability to use that lineup a number of times creates many problems. George gives it up to Timmy. Five on the clock for Duncan against Muhammad again here. And Tim knew he was going to shoot it all along. Absolutely. You heard the call from the bench. No one's catching it in that situation. Timmy's going to put a shot up. Good touch from the big fella. He's now got 17 points. Nazi Muhammad inside. Oh, McDice, great help. But it goes to Jackson for three. He wins it, and Tim Duncan with a rebound. Bringing it up on the dribble. Makes me a little nervous. Especially when we're already at, what, 21 or 22 turnovers. I'm like, give that ball to a guard, big fella. 23. George Hill. McDice going to work on the glass and out to Duncan. Bogan's on the drive. The jump hook. Got it off the window over Nazi Muhammad. That was a strong move there by Keith. He just throws his body right into Nazi Muhammad. And there's no way that Nazi can get off the ground and contest that shot. First version of the Wildcat coming from the former Kentucky standout is Jackson to the rim. It rims it and Duncan claims it. Out to Bogans too far. Oh, in the quarter. Hill to Parker. George Hill. Got him. Nothing but the bottom for Ayu. He lied. George Hill. That's a big shot there. You can tell that the Charlotte Bobcats have turned up the volume on the defensive the floor. The Spurs are having to scramble for good looks. Morris Diaw for three. Off the iron. McDice. 8 0 in rebounds in the period. And Timmy gives it right back to Tony Parker. Well, Tony's got a big on him. George Hill. The whistle and the foul, and we'll go to the line. To waiting a decision is are we? I uh, didn't see his feet, but it didn't look like he used his foot to step forward. A la Vinny Del Negro. Vinny. It's a three. Yeah. He, he just to lose for Daniel Ashcraft being a huge North Carolina fan. Yeah. Uh, could be something to do with it. Jackson answers as the Spurs run is stopped at 11 0. They've gone to 74 73, and the Spurs had got 11 straight before Jackson makes it 75. And now the Spurs come right back with Tony Parker. That's a good backdoor cut there by Tony Parker. And they just wait. It's a timing play. You wait for the weak side to clear. And you see there George Hill setting a screen as well, running a little inter interference. Tony makes a great cut. And Parker rims the free throw. Tony, four points tonight. He's only taken five shots. 
Spurs by 10, 6.05 to go here. Felton gives to Tyson Chandler, gets it right back. Steven Jackson with George Hill on it. Great jab step, set him up for the three, but he couldn't finish it. And Jackson tonight, 9 of 22 from the floor. So 22 shots to get 23 points. That's a tough shot to make by Steven Jackson. Tony Parker shows him how it's done. Use your big man to step up about 12, 15 feet. Get an easy one. Tony with his six points to go on with nine assists. Wallace on the drive. No. Duncan out to Tony Parker. Spurs pushing it again. Cross court to George Hill. The reverse. Count it. And a timeout Bobcats. And I, that was all George Hill. And he does a terrific job running the floor. And he was running hard. He realizes if he runs, he's going to get two points. Look at the beautiful finish. Fire Bobcats team, he makes it hard on himself. He runs a little too wide. He's able to finish that play nonetheless. And the Spurs now lead it. After a 19-6 start to the fourth quarter, it's a 14-point lead. 91-77, our Toyota trivia tonight. Houston is well there. As goes into Chandler here. What's he doing? It seems like he's trying to bow his way. Jump ball. Through to the basket. He's got, he's got a dribble. I think somebody's got to tell him that. He showed you five at home. Well, that'll help. He yeah, definitely needs a few wins here and there. Try to get his team back on track. Spurs here. Hill to Duncan. Tim couldn't quite come up with a handle, and the Spurs turned over. Uh, you can get away with that one when you're up 14. And you well, played a much better quarter. You've taken care of the basketball. That turnover occurred in the third. Pop would have gone crazy. I'm encouraged, though. 25 turnovers, but we looked it up. The worst they've ever done, 40 back in 89 against Golden State. Chandler does his part to try to even it up as he walks in there with his night, the 19th turnover of the night for the Bobcats. A little bit low and picked off by Jackson. Here comes Wallace. Wow. Well, he maintained body control to lay that in. 77, 70, or the 91-79. Steven Jackson's all over that play. And I like the play call, but if it's not there, you don't just go ahead and throw it up there. Steven Jackson coming from the weak side, breaking up that lob. And here's Jefferson. And that time, Jackson got picked off, literally, as he did. Timmy steps out there, sets a good screen, and Richard Jefferson's playing one-on-one -on -one against Tyson Chandler, and he's going to win that battle. Jefferson, 11 in the half, 16 on the night. Spurs get in the turnover. Jefferson pushing again. Top, strong to the hole and draws the foul. Out from the floor, and they've shot 53% from three. Felt with the move to answer here. Tip of the cap to you, the fans, for helping support and make it go. Parker knocks down a three. There's a little dagger, maybe, with it. 97 81, and Tony Parker hitting the three, just his second. 10 on the shot clock. Dewan Blair. Nice fake by Dewan, and he'll go to the free throw line. In the game, need a bucket here to take care of that. And Ratliff gets it to him. He's going to be the goal to Punched out underneath by Gerald Henderson, the rookie from Duke. He worked the ball well. Here's Roger Mason Jr. The three ball. Roger Mason Jr.